Ball joints and tie rod ends are similar in many ways. They are a ball and socket type of joint, which allow movement between rigid components of the suspension and steering. Ball joints specifically are the link between the suspension arms and the steering knuckle to allow for suspension movement. Tie rods are the components that connect the steering gear in a vehicle to the steering knuckle, transferring the turning motion into the knuckle. The tie rods themselves are a simple metal rod, but the tie rod ends house the ball and socket joints that allow movement both when steering and during suspension travel. Traditionally, ball joints and tie rod ends featured a grease fitting, allowing them to be greased on regular service intervals, which forced out moisture and dirt to extend the life of the joints. However, the lack of proper maintenance can lead to early failure, and many modern joints feature improved materials in a sealed design, which provides a long service life without the need for regular maintenance. Ball joints and tie rod ends both feature rubber boots that keep dirt and water out, regardless of whether they are a sealed or serviceable joint, and these boots should be inspected regularly. If they are torn or leaking in any manner, the joints should be replaced. Aside from the actual job they do, the biggest difference is in how to check them. Tie rod ends are typically easier to check since they aren't loaded in any manner. Play in a tie rod end can be easily felt by hand or seen by watching them while someone rocks the steering wheel back and forth. Ball joints are more difficult to check because they are loaded in many different ways due to different suspension designs. If a ball joint is not checked using the correct procedure, a bad joint can be missed. And if they are not checked against allowable wear specifications using the proper tools, ball joints can be and are often misdiagnosed as bad. Some new ball joint designs differ from original due to improvements and installation procedures are important to prevent damage and ensure proper joint positioning. For all these reasons, technicians should always follow manufacturer instructions for checking, as well as thoroughly reading instructions included with replacement ball joints and tie rod ends. This prevents misdiagnosis, damage, or early failure of new components. Thanks for watching.